Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tony with DojoHero.com. This is what we call the beanbag toss. Now, you don't have to use beanbags. You can use dodgeballs. You can use uh, karate helmets. You can use racquetballs. So, I like to use the beanbags because if they do fall and hit the ground, they usually stay. If you're using like dodgeballs or racquetballs, they tend to roll all over the place and can cause an issue whenever you have a bunch of kids. They may step on them, they may trip. So, beanbags are always a safe bet. And they're easy to handle too. And I got these at Walmart. Eight bucks. I think seven bucks for eight of them. So just go and grab these. They're in the sporting goods section. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna have everybody get into a group or a team. And now you can make your teams anywhere from five to eight kids, I would say, safe. Uh, you can, of course, make it bigger and you can make it smaller, depending on you know, the group that you have. You can do this with a, you know, two or three kids. So this is what we're gonna do. Lexi, you're gonna start and you're gonna pick somebody to pass it to, but you also have to call out their name. Okay, so this is a good way for uh, everybody not only to work together, but to learn each other's name and who we are, okay? So first person you're gonna throw it to is? Peyton. And then Peyton's gonna throw it to? Jackson. Jackson's gonna throw it to? Billy. Billy's gonna throw it Brandon. to? Brandon. Gianna. Gianna. Yeah. Dario. And then it'll go back to the first person. So now in order for them to get the uh, pattern down, because they're gonna repeat it, repeat that again, uh, do it really slow the first time and let them figure out who they're gonna throw it to, which they all did, and let's do it again and see if they can remember it. So it's good for memory too. Ready, go. Peyton, Jackson, Billy, Brandon, Gianna, Excellent, and then what we can do, uh, if you're having a group that's having a hard time, like figuring out like who didn't get the beanbag yet, the first person that throws the beanbag, as soon as they release it, they raise their hand. Next person throws it, they raise their hand. So that way when it gets down to the last couple, they'll know who not to throw it to. Go ahead. Peyton. So Alexa would raise her hand. Jackson. Peyton would raise their hand. Jackson would throw it and he would raise his hand. So Billy knows that it's going over here. And then, right, Jenna knows that Dario is the last one. And then everybody has their hand raised. He knows it goes back to the start. So, version number two is just simply speeding things up. We still want them to call the names out, uh, but now you're gonna go a little bit faster. So as soon as you get it, you're gonna release it almost like hot potato, but watch that you're not throwing it hard at the person because you're a team. So you have to help each other to be successful. And if you throw it at their feet, you throw it way above their head, you throw it really hard, then it's not gonna be as successful as it could be as if I worked together and I just kind of tossed it over to them. And we can still move fast, but I can throw it right there where they can catch it, okay? I don't wanna do this, in other words, or this. <laughs> okay, makes sense? So work together as a team, and I'm gonna just continue to go now, so don't stop. After you go through the first round and it comes back to Lexi, Lexi, right away, continue, so no hesitation. Ready, and go. We're gonna go 30 seconds. Good, nice speed. And it's great for hand-eye coordination here and for reflex, for memory. Excellent job, teamwork, team building. You can have them get into stances here. Now, while you're doing it, everybody hold a horse stance. There you go, that's it. Everybody get into a nice horse riding stance. Good, that's it. Back really straight here. Good. And you can even add another element here. Let's just say, if they're not catching the beanbag, they're throwing center punches or they're doing rising blocks or low defenses or anything else that you wanted them to do here. And time, very good. Okay, so now, I'll take that. Let's start back in the beginning. Everybody can stand back up. So there's a couple different variations and then to finish it off, like the last one, like the challenge round is Start to give the leader, the first person that throws the beanbag another bag once she releases it. So that way you've got Two, three, we haven't quite got four going smoothly just yet, but we're gonna let them try and work this out. Last few times we did it just to kind of show them the drill, it was all over the place. And I said, this is perfect. And the reason being is because you wanna see them come together because at first they're not going to be and they're gonna be throwing it all over the place. They're gonna be laughing and the beanbags are gonna be falling and it's gonna get all out of whack because they have very, very little time to react. They're getting it, they're moving and then right away they have to be ready for the next one. So they have to understand where it's coming from and who it's going to and be ready to be able to make those moves really, really fast because it happens within a split second. Just like a lot of things in life, right? It happens in a split second, you have to make that decision, okay? All right, here we go. Oh, you already got one. And go. Jackson. 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 Jackson.
and time. So as you can see, right, as you can see, not only is it a lot of fun, it is, um, but now we're going to let them start again. And I'm not going to hand them the bean bags this time. I'm just going to let Lexi keep them. So she's got all four to start with. Good. And then you see the, how challenging it is, is once you get to like three or four, right? So why don't we do two, get two going. Let's be successful at one thing first before we try to move on to another. Because if we try to do too much of anything, what happens? We end up failing at it. We get frustrated, right? And we never quite get it. So if you know as four is as challenging as it is, then why keep going back to it? Why not go back and master two first, right? So that's what you guys are gonna have to do as a team. Find where you're working together and get that down. And then challenge yourself by adding another, okay? But if one person like falls down and starts not taking it serious, then the whole team falls apart. So that's what I mean by you guys are a team, you have to work together as a team and work together as a group. If not, it's gonna fall apart, okay? Just like in anything else, when you grow up and you're in a job and you're in a leadership position and you're leading other people, then if you're not a great leader, it could fall apart. Okay, if you're not a great decision maker, it could fall apart. Okay, so if you don't know how to lead a team, it could fall apart. So this is great practice, right, for future endeavors. Right on. Here we go. Ready? Go ahead. And time. Good. So let's go back. That was better. It started off better, but it kind of fell apart. So let's just do two. Ready? Go. And you don't have to go that fast. You can slow it down and start to get it together, making sure that it's happening correctly. There we go, that's it. So as you can see, by just giving them two to work with, then they're a little bit more successful with it. So now when we add the third, of course, it'll come together, or it should. But that's why we work on it, right? Got about 10 seconds left. And time, very good. All right, all back to Lexi. Okay, now we'll do one more, let's do three. All right, take a deep breath. And what I want you to do is I want you to come in just a little bit. So now it's an even faster reaction, but, okay, don't worry about just being so fast. Worry about it never touching the floor. If it touches the floor, you guys all have to give me 10 push-ups. just kidding. But you could, right? So you could make, uh, you know, little rules apply in here if they do drop any one of them. Ready, and go. Excellent, there you go. Not bad, not bad. And if you get stuck somewhere, just stop as a team. Everybody say hold, hold, hold. And then start again. All right, there you go, that's it. Nice. Now you, oh, Lexi fell asleep on that one. <laughs> and time, very good. You guys can drop the bean bags right there in the center. Just take a knee right where you're at. Good. So there's just a few different variations. And as you can see, uh, you can do this. This is, is great for like uh, camps. It's great for, I mean, you can do this in, in your regular classes. You can finish a class off with it. Uh, you can have a uh, team building day where you're doing a lot of these types of exercises. But this one will last quite a while. You uh, explain to them what we're doing, they're learning each other's names, uh, their reflexes and reaction skills are gonna be increased. It's a lot of fun, as you can see, they're all laughing and having a good time, which is important. I mean, if your school is stale and stiff and people are walking on eggshells, I mean, if that's how you want it, that's cool. Uh, but, you know, we like to have a little bit of fun while we're in here training as well. And, uh, and, and this is a really fun drill that you can do a lot of variations with, okay? So have fun with this one. Come up with some cool variations. And if you have anything that we haven't thought of before or put into the uh, site, add it into the Facebook group so everybody can see what you're doing with them and we can uh, add them into our classes as well. I'm Tony with DojoHero.com. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.